So we combined everything from the free scan combo, the free scan trio, and everything from the Einscan line into this scanner. This is a 1995 Mercedes-Benz E320, and we were gonna do some projects, so we pulled it into the back, but right when we were doing that, Eric from Shining 3D showed up with the brand new world exclusive preview of the Einscan Libre. Now this is a brand new scanner, it's totally handheld, totally wireless. So it's an entire computer in one. Eric, thank you for showing up uh, randomly Thanks with this me. awesome scanner. Yeah, so I'm glad I could show you this new Shining 3D's new Einscan Libra 3D scanner, fully wireless as you mentioned with an on-screen processing and data uh, transfer to your laptop. So no more wires. You can do everything on the scanner, for scan an entire full car, process it and send it to your computer. And that's it. So everything can be done on the scanner itself and no need to worry about any of those hassles to move around anything. Yeah. So. So in a few weeks, we'll be getting our unit and doing a full unboxing and tech specs and really testing out the scanner. For now, we're just gonna go over the specs and give it a quick, like we're gonna start scanning stuff to see how it really works. Uh, a couple of the points you told me, it'll scan 30 to 40 million points, uh, up to a terabyte of data, and it'll process the scans up to... This scanner was made specifically to scan those larger objects. So think a full yeah. car, uh, a crane, uh, purse, people, uh, we could even do half a room. Anything that's really large, I'm gonna say 30 to 40 million points can be processed on the scanner itself. And those are really large scans. Like that is a lot of detail that we can process. Right, so like if I wanted to scan a room with the pre-scan combo, you're not really gonna do it. Does that mean this thing is able to sense scale and volumetric accuracy over larger, wider areas? Exactly. We actually do have photogrammetry bars that will improve the accuracy for anything over a meter and a half. Mm -hmm. So if we do, say, the full car or the room, we can include those photogrammetry bars to improve the accuracy of the scan. And again, everything is done on the scanner itself so that no more caring about the wires or anything. We can do everything here and then we're good, we're good to go. I mean, a couple of the features, the, the thing we love most about the scanners we sell, like the free scan combo, is you got the IR mode and you got the laser mode, which is super accurate. Now the laser mode always mm. needs markers. The IR mode is great because you can scan just geometry. You don't need markers, but you also can use markers. And then you got the free scan trio, which will do markerless blue laser scanning, but it pretty much only does that or large scale. And it's not really applicable to everything. Whereas this took, the best of that trio and the combo and mashed it in a, into one at an exactly. even lower price and added wireless. So you've got infrared with or without markers right. and blue lasers with or without markers. Exactly. I mean, this is, this is freaking awesome. Yep, so we combined everything from the FreeScan combo, the FreeScan trio, and everything from the Einscan line into this scanner. And now you have the Einscan Libra free of wires and free of any messy processing or anything, markers, all that sort of stuff. So the real deal is, how well does it work? Let's start scanning stuff and make sure you subscribe uh, and comment down below what types of objects you want us to test this out on when we get ours and subscribe so you see it when we get the unboxing and everything else out. Uh, but for now, let's, let's do some do scanning. Oh, okay, so here we have three different scan modes. The IR Rapid for rapid scanning. You can see it says marker-free scanning. And then we have the IR Adaptive, which is for more black or reflective surfaces, which will require markers. And then we have the Laser HD, which is for the high-definition scans uh, for detailed scanning with or without markers. And for this specific car, we're going to use the IR Rapid mode with the feature alignments and with the resolution set at 1.5, of which you can see it can go down to 0.5 or up to 10. But for the car body, the best case is 1.5 right here. And then we can click start. And that enters into the scan page that we are also familiar with. Some settings over there for help. And then now we can see the preview and we have the brightness setting over here where you can increase the brightness to see how much data is being captured when put it all the way up for this black object and then we have the preview we click once and then we have the data being captured and probably you're going to want to go over this way first through that bumper and then to the other side over there towards the door
Watch out for that bumper there. That wide screen is pretty hard to keep the tracking, but keep it up. Uh, yeah, go towards the top there. Uh, once you're over there, the window is translucent, so you want to go up on top there. Keep the distance farther away. There is a pretty uh, good working distance, so you can move pretty far away. Uh, not that far away. A little closer, and then scan the top of that car. So we want to. The video it, is really good. The bumper is really good. It, Once we get down can, to. Can I just say this is a million times better than the Vega? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like the Vega on steroids. Yeah. It really is. It and is. you guys released two wireless scanners basically yeah. in the same month. Yeah. So we can come down here, just get more detail. Especially at the grill there. Yeah. See that the field of view is shown there as well. And you have the marker pointer to tell you where exactly the camera is pointed at. So we took everything that we could uh, from the scan experience of the other scanners to make it easier on this one. All right, so we got some data. And you just hit pause. So now we have the same preview screen as the other ones. You can see there is a scissor right there for cutting data out. Oh, so if I want to cut out the floor. Exactly. We also have the cutting plane, the really popular tool for creating a plane as well there. Oh, that's, yeah, that's pretty easy. Let me ask you this. Is there a desktop uh, version of the software? There is a I desktop don't version of the software that you can load the projects in via, if you connect through a USB-C connection, and you can load the projects onto your computer and edit the projects, same as the other scanners. And you can also just transfer the STL files with that connection as well. Nice. Now this is a ambidextrous, not a right hand, left hand for sure. So you can mm -hmm. work with both hands. It's pretty light, so you can see that just holding it. It is lighter. It is definitely lighter than the other, um, uh, it's definitely lighter than some of the other competing scanners that are wireless out there. That's the, the whole thing. One of the big things we've always liked about just regular scanners is they're lightweight and they're connected to the machine. So you're, you are bound by a wire, which can get in the way sometimes, but most of the time it doesn't. But this opens up a whole new thing of like going to sculptures, going to outdoor areas, doing cars at a car show, doing exactly. just a million different things that you couldn't do before. Yeah, yeah, that's somebody carrying a laptop. So yeah, if you ever go up towards like on top of a building or on top of a really large machine, it's really troublesome to have that scanner and laptop with you. So now, you can do everything with just the scanner and that opens up so many possibilities. Dude, Eric, thank you so much for bringing this by. Guys, go to visionminer.com slash scanners, get your orders in today. We're taking pre-orders and we've got these in stock ready to ship by the time you see this video. And we got a whole line of 3D scanners to choose from. So maybe this one isn't in your budget. We've got a whole bunch of other ones and we're there to consult you and find out what the best option is gonna be, even if it's one that we don't carry. We'll tell you that. So give us a call, shoot us an email. We're here to help. And thank you so much for watching. Positive rest of your day. See you on the next one.